All right, ready to get underway. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Next pitch is downstairs. Good eye right there. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now here is Vaughn Grissom. Foul ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Austin Riley. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And it is two and one. Out to short, Pena. Gathers and throws to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. Back here in San Diego. And stepping in is the speedy Jeremy Pena. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hitting it hard somewhere. Takes it in for the out. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Liner picked on the hop at first. It's there, and that's a great play. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. That one the other way. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. Next one misses. The count now two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the righty deals. And another ball. On the ground to third. Zips it across. One out in the second. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Two hits in the game last night. Got him. And there's two away. Here's Orlando Arcia. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Second inning here, no score. Arcia started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and yes, he offered at it. Bottom half of inning number two, stepping in for San Diego, Manny Machado. Comebacker to the mound. Tosses to first, leadoff man retired here in the second. And here's the veteran outfielder, Nelson Cruz. Swing and a miss. One and two. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Fly ball down the line, and that's a fair ball! And into second with one away, that's a double. One down. Matt Carpenter, the next up for the Padres. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. The 1-1. One -one. Swings through that one. Two straight. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now it's Austin Nola. Coming off a big one yesterday where he knocked in five. Man on second, two down. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. 
So two aboard in two outs, scoreless game. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Out of the third inning. So here's Murphy now. And a pitch. And that skips in the dirt. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. And now Sam Hillier. That one off the mark. Two and one. Started to swing. Held up. Murphy. The runner at second with one away. That one lifted to left. Cruz. Under it. Makes the grab. Two down. So the lineup flips over. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next offering is in for a strike. That one is upstairs. Let's see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. The batter now is Adam Engel. And the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Zips it to first. That takes care of Engel. So the San Diego batting order turns over at the play. Jeremy Pena, he's 0 for 1. And he lays down a bunt. Scoops it up barehanded. And very nicely done for the out. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or it can be bunted right back at a position player. And there's a hit. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he's out. Cut down and that in. As we go to the top of the fourth, leading off Vaughn Grissom. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Azokar makes the play. One up, one down. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Next one just misses. Ball two. Lifted in the air, right field. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. So now one and two. And that's downstairs and outside. Here's the two-two. And that one is inside. On the ground. That's out number three. Back here at Petco Park. Bottom four. And now the DH, Xander Bogarts. High fly ball out to center field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. And now it's Manny Machado. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Swing and a miss. 
Now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Bounced up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Swing and a miss. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now in for the Braves, Travis Darno. And a swing and a miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss struck him out. So digging in, Orlando Arcia went down on strikes his first time through. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Here's Sean Murphy, doubled in his first A.B. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does. Ah, he locked him up, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Back here at the ballpark, here's a big power threat. Matt Carpenter, three and two now. Hard hit, right side. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. He reached out a walk his first time. Swing and a bouncer. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. And it hits the fence. And into second easily with a two-out double. Man in scoring position with two away. Adam Engel, the next up for the Padres. The 1-1. One -one. And it's strike two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back here in San Diego, all set for the top of the sixth. Now batting Jordan Luplo. Swing and he breaks his back. Makes the grab one away. And now the right fielder, Sam Hillier. Fly to left his first time up. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And now the count is even. Out to short, Pena. On the run, throw to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the... up the middle didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked but that's a good approach paying off line drive base hit down the line throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away and next for Atlanta Austin Riley fly ball center field great effort as he's able to haul it in and that will end the inning Bottom of the sixth inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jeremy Pena. Popped in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Good pitch, he just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Right-hander kicks deals. 
late that time, and it's strike two. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Out to short. Two up, two down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. It's Xander Bogarts now. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. And a big swing and a miss. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Two-two down. And a swing and a miss. Top of inning number seven. Now it's going to be Marcelo Zuna. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and one. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb. So they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching. But no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Swings and misses. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And here's the first baseman, Travis Darno. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia. Next offering is in the dirt. Line drive. That's a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That was maybe even a little off the plate. But no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Nabil Prismat. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. And a foul ball. At the belt and finals. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase in the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. Well, got to pause on that thought. As that Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Manny Machado now. A wide to kick the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Stepping in for San Diego, Nelson Cruz. Next pitch oh, is right outside. Back. Smash to the left side. And that quickly, two away. Now it's Matt Carpenter. And a 1-1. One -one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Now at the plate, Austin Nola. In the air right field. Hilliard on his horse. Nice grab on the run. Ryan Stinker making a move for a bat here. Michael Harris. He represents the go-ahead run. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Foul ball there. Right into the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. And it's just foul. That was close. Left hand batter waits. Out to short. Whips it to first on the run. Safe. He beats it. 
always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Gets under and pops it up. Krizmak drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. And next is the designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. That's the third. Toss to Carpenter. That ends the frame. Staying in the game on defense, Michael Harris. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Into center. Luplo settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Adam Engel, the next up for the Padres. The 2 1. And that's down and away. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Hard hit, base hit. He was all over that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So the Padres have chased the starter. Angle on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Save. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. Line drive. Base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score easily. On the board first. It's one zip. Picks himself up in RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. First offering, runner goes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One-two now. Runner on the go again. There's a swing and a drive. Bangs off the wall. They add on late as the run scores all the way from first. It's 2-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. And a big swing and a miss. Out towards right center field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Azokar around third. He scores, and they lead by three. Comes through with the RBI. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Colin McHugh. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. This one high in the air to left center. Luplo makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. Not in time. He's safe. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuma. Zuna. 
So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Josh Hader. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. And now the first baseman, Travis Darno. Gonna count one and two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you gotta find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. So it's their last chance in this one. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. The next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Line drive, base hit. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. 1-1 one, one now. And there's a foul ball. Here's a 1-2. High in the air, out to right. Azokar under this one. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, another night, another win. This team is a must-watch right now. Even if it goes late, there's a rain delay, extra innings. People are going to stay up late to see this streak continue. The shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.